Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Anna. So this video is going to be another video where I share something that I think is useful and might help language learners. Establishing a good studying routine, discipline, being productive, staying motivated and on track. I know that all these things are hard to implement and even figure out how to manage your time for the best results. And even when we have an established routine, it's sometimes useful to switch things up. So I'm going to tell you my morning routine and explain how you can use it to improve your English. So if you're interested in something like this, I suggest you continue watching. This video is brought to you by Skillshare. We are very busy in our lives. This is just how the world is these days. Being a mom, wife, an entrepreneur, having a thousand things to do and to think about daily, planning my time and following schedules is crucial for me. If I want to have some me time, do something that I enjoy or even work more efficiently, I need some good time management. I'm not saying this to complain that I'm super busy and miserable, but you know, being a mom in the modern world is difficult. You're always trying to juggle things and be everything and everywhere. And I'm sure that there are people who are way better than I am at managing their kids and jobs. For me though, it was and still from time to time is a struggle. My solution is thorough planning of my day. It's also important when you work independently, when you're your own boss. My me time and my working time is in the morning, is the time when I'm most energetic and productive. I still do things and work throughout the day, of course, but it's a lot harder for me later in the day everything just goes slower and if I don't start my day on a productive note my day will surely be wasted however if I do that minimum that I planned I would do I'm more likely to do more in the day because I feel pleased with myself and more enthusiastic my own progress and achievements motivate me and even if I don't do anything else throughout the day I still feel satisfied because I did something and didn't waste my day Oh, and don't think that I'm so perfect and that I have everything under control and everything in places and I'm always so disciplined and super productive. No, I'm not. I know it seems like it, but I'm not. I'm human. I definitely deviate from this course from time to time, but when I'm on it, it's sure as hell very helpful. For a long time, I just trusted my gut, sorta, and went with the flow, meaning that I would work on whatever and whenever I felt like it or whenever I had time. And it worked until it didn't. Okay, let's get into the actual routine. I use the timer technique. I set a timer for 15 minutes for each activity. I talked about the timer technique in my video on how to stay focused while reading. And this technique works like a charm for me. It keeps you accountable and motivated to finish the task in the given time. This interval of 15 minutes doesn't seem that big, and it's not. It's perfect. And this switch between activities makes it so much easier and enjoyable and gives great results as you don't overwhelm yourself. So the first thing that I like to put on my list is writing. I journal for 15 minutes. Usually I write about what I feel and I try to be very honest and open basically with myself. It's especially very helpful when I feel overwhelmed, like something's weighing on me. Putting everything on paper, uh, helps me to let it all out and get it off my mind. Or I can write about my plans or future events, etc. I've talked about journaling in my videos already. Let's consider this an update. The more you write in English, and yes, I do everything in English. So the more you write in English, the easier it gets each time. When you write, you have time to think, to phrase a sentence any way you like, to think of grammar and check it on the internet or look up some words or phrases. I just swear by writing, it really improves your English. And if you're getting ready to take international exams like IELTS or TOEFL, and you need to improve your writing, go ahead and use this method. Then I read. I set the timer for 15 to 30 minutes. Currently, I'm reading Ask Me What's For Dinner One More Time and Appropriate Thoughts on Motherhood. I started it a long time ago, but then I switched to another book, but now I'm back on the rails with this one. So if you're struggling with reading in English, try to read in the morning and just for 10 to 15 minutes. Maybe if you do this first thing in the morning and sort of get it over with for the day, it might help take this pressure off yourself. I mean those constant worrisome thoughts like I really should work on my reading skills but I don't have the time or I wish I read more, etc. Just get it over with and move on with your day and eventually it will turn into a habit and maybe you'll even love it. The next thing I do is I exercise for at least 15 minutes because again, if I don't do this in the morning, I might not do this at all during the day 
because usually I don't have enough energy after doing my household chores and taking care of my kid, especially at this time of the year, my energy levels are very low because I'm totally dependent on the weather. For you, instead of exercising, it might be listening. Watch a video or listen to a podcast in English. You might even do this while you're having breakfast. Or you might work on your vocabulary. The best and the most effective way I know to successfully memorize new words is to use them. So you can write down the words you need to remember and come up with sentences using those words. Write down those sentences and most importantly, read them out loud. See, very easy things, but don't underestimate this routine. The results it'll give you make it worth implementing. Then I try to meditate or just sit in silence for 15 minutes and then I work. I usually work during the day because there's just not enough time in the morning for me to get everything done. However, I still work in the morning. I have different things to do like content creating, emails managing, other things that I can talk about right now. So I would decide on whatever I'll be working on in the morning or what needs to be done first. Write it down and work on those things for 15 minutes. You might replace these with working on your grammar, for instance, or shadowing or working on your speaking skills. There's lots of videos out there where great teachers explain and break down the pronunciation of words, phrases, and sentences, and always ask to repeat out loud with them. So you might do just this. 15 minutes is almost always not enough for me to work, but I can't afford to spend as much time as I need in the morning. And it's better to do at least something than not do anything because sometimes during the day unpredictable things come up and I end up being occupied with those things rather than working on the things that I need to work on. And by the evening, I'm exhausted. For people with regular jobs or students, it's pretty much the same thing. Their jobs and studies take up almost all their time and energy. So doing your English studies in the morning is a great way to kickstart your day and uh, feel accomplished because you've already worked on your English and no matter how your day goes, you might still learn some English during the day or you might not, but at least you know that you didn't waste that day. Not that you're wasting your days, you know what I mean. And the amount of work I get done directly depends on when I wake up. Logically, the earlier I wake up, the more I get done. The ideal time for me to wake up is 5 a.m. A little break to talk about the sponsor of this portion of the video, Skillshare. It's an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for curious and creative people. It's curated specifically for learning and this means there are no ads. The classes in Skillshare are in English and it'll give you another opportunity to work on your English while learning about something that interests you. I love this class by Kevin Siskar, Productivity Today, Managing Attention in the Digital Age. It's all about how to maintain attention and keep focus and not easily get distracted using different techniques and tools. I think it's very relatable for most of the people these days. There's such a huge variety of classes. There's classes on writing that we talked about earlier in the video. There's classes on time management, English classes, business classes, and so on. When you join, you can try one of the Skillshare's new live classes and experience real-time inspiration as you connect with popular teachers while watching and working along with other members. And now a cool part, the first thousand of our subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership. And if you pay for an annual subscription, it comes for less than $10 a month. So give it a try. While you're getting used to this new routine, it might be a good idea to write down in your journal or in your computer, for example, your activities. Because what I noticed at the beginning is that it's quite hard to follow those steps. If you don't have them written in front of you, you're wasting your time on remembering or deciding what you want to do next. And I don't know if you've noticed, but time just flies by in the morning. Consistency is key for sure, but don't beat yourself up if you have skipped a couple of days or when something doesn't go according to plan. I'm talking to perfectionists because I'm one of them and putting pressure on myself is a usual thing for me, but it just gets in your way and messes with your head. Do I do this every day? I certainly don't because life happens, but it doesn't mean that if you skipped one, two, three days or a week, you can't get back on track. And when you do get back, it feels great. Plus, this routine and planning really helps you stop wasting your time on social media in the morning. Okay, guys, I hope this video was useful for you. Subscribe, give it a like, and leave your comments down below. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>